right now on Operation Repo. Get down, get down! Hey! What the No, I was okay. trying to help you out. I don't around like that and push me like no, that. No, dude. You know we're in your favorite neighborhood, right? Which one? I don't know, but I know you don't like it here. <laughs> South Central LA is probably the toughest area that we cover as repossession agency. Most of the time, these neighborhoods are protected by the gang. So not only are you dealing with the registered owner of the car, but sometimes you'll have to fight with the gang members in order to get the car out of there. Dude, you, you, know what, you know what gets me about this area? What? You could, you know what I mean? You could feel the vibe around here, dude. It just feels, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a different vibe out here, bro. You know what happened? What? They got used to the other side of town. No, no, no. Well, you did. So one of the things you, you'll notice right away is that uh, Matt's not very comfortable in a place like this, and neither am I. I mean, it's, uh, it's South Central. This is it's, it's not a very safe place. That's a Kia. All right, no one get out of the truck. I'm just gonna go check the bin. Don't, hey, don't slam doors. Don't do nothing. So when we get to the place, the car's sitting there. That's it? If you guys are gonna get out, get out now, please. Because yeah. otherwise you're on my way. The best way to approach a repo in South Central is hook and book. In and out as quick as possible with as least amount of drama as possible. Hey, what the y'all doing? Hey, man, repossession order for this car. Oh, uh, hold on, let me get the report. I just paid the bill. Hold on, hold on. Calm down, Jeff? calm down, calm down. Are you Jeff? Calm down. Yeah, I'm Jeff. What the oh, f you the doing? Right, relax, the report, bro, bro. relax. You Where's want to get yourself out? We're here for the car, it's a repo. You ain't taking it, what you talking about? Okay. You're not taking nothing. You, listen, you haven't made your payments. I just paid the piece. bill two days ago. No, y'all ain't taking All right. Actually, all right. Come on, come on, talk right. to me, man. All right. Oh, yeah, hurry up. We've been through repos like this before many times. You don't try to waste time. If you notice, we got to the place and we start hooking up. Once he runs inside the house, we know what he's trying to do. You got, yeah, you got one round in the car, dude. Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Call number one, dude. Call you know, I have no idea. Was he trying to hit his own car? Doubtful. Was he trying to hit the truck and me and Froy in it? Probably. We go around the corner, and first of all, we want to make sure that everybody's okay. Everybody seems fine. Nobody's been shot. So I have to call the police. I mean, shots were fire. It's not like I just can go, go, you know, nobody got hurt. So I'm just gonna keep going. I have to call the police. I, I, I need, I need a, a police assistance really, 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 really bad. Uh, we, 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 are, we just did a repossession right now on, on of West First Street and we, we got shot at. You guys okay? Are you guys okay? Yes, it, it, everything's We're gonna fine. We're going to call 911. We're calling 911 now. Us. And, um, they, okay. they, they hit the car? No, no, no. They didn't hit the car. They didn't hit the car? They missed it. Completely. Okay, but... No, I think, I think they hit it. Oh, really? Where? Yeah. Where? Uh, over there. I don't know. There was like two or three shots that were shooting at us. One bullet had uh, hit the rear tire of the car and it was the air was escaping out of it. At which time after that, LAPD arrived. Uh, my name is Matt Birch. I'm a repossessor. We were repossessing that Kia. Alright. Over on... Uh, excuse me. We'll That's shake right, it right take now. Your time. So we're in the other side. Right. And uh, it's not on this street, right? No, no. it's on the Poland Street. Poland Street over. Oh, over that way. Yes. Usually when we deal with the police, I let Matt handle it. 
Um, and that's because Matt is very comfortable talking to the police officers. There was a, a moment when Matt was a little too nervous, you know, because he hates guns. He's been shot before. And usually what we do is we ask people to give us the keys while we hook up to the car. And he said, he just didn't say nothing after that. He ran inside. Usually when people run inside, it's not a good sign. And it's his car? You believe it's his car? Oh, it is his car. His car. He is armed? Yeah, then, no, 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 sir, we're not. No, no, sir, we're not. So after waiting for a little while, the dispatch calls me back and tells me to go back to the location because they got a guy that think it was our, our, our person that was shooting at us and that they want us to identify him. Come on, you wait. he's not gonna get you. Stand off the side. I could see that it was the young man in question and uh, you know, they had had him in custody. So I felt comfortable about going up there and identifying him. That's him. Absolutely. That guy, that's man. That's him. Hey, that's him, Is that man. your car? Yeah, that's my car. I paid the bill. Why you I paid this, man? Not according to them. I paid the bill. I told you I was a repossession agent. Why'd you shoot it? Man, f you, man. What about the gun, man? What's That's it. That? That's the gun. F that, man. Give me my f***ing car back. I paid the bill. I think you got a lot more things to worry about right now, don't you? You got more to worry about. Wait, well, what? You? Wait. Hey, 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 hey. The guy's excuse to the cops was that he thought we were still in the car. Now, if you rewind the tape, you'll see and you'll hear us tell him we're repossessors. You didn't make your payment. And he clearly says, I sent the payment to two days ago. So how can he turn around and tell the cops that he thought we were still in there? That's just an excuse. That is someone that deserves to go to jail. It's a voluntary in the sense that uh, uh, transmission is out. The transmission is out? Yeah, and it's outside the building where the, the arrow works. This simple voluntary, voluntary where the registered owner called the bank and told them, look, we're surrendering the car, we can't afford it no more, it's going to be parked here, the keys are going to be underneath the mat. Man, how much more easier can it get? That one right there? What is it again? It's a Winstar? Winstar. 2000 Winstar. No, that's a Subaru. It's an Explorer, Expedition. Oh, okay. You don't always necessarily have to have a plan and, and be all organized, but I do like to have a plan and try to be organized. Yeah, that's it. You need a Slim Jim? Volunteers, we should do them last. We go look at the repossessions, and you know, if we get a car, cool. If we don't, then we'll pick up the voluntary and, and drive it back to the office. Bad train and a bad starter. <laughs> no wonder they're giving us the car. Nice, thank you. All right, I'm gonna hook it up. All right. I go to put the boom out of the truck and halfway out, the freaking boom gets stuck. It, it literally gets stuck. So now we can't tow the car. Hey, Froy. What? Come here, bro. Huh? Hey, um. What are you doing? The boom is stuck. It's stuck? Yeah. Did, uh, did we have any problems with the boom? Not that I know. Now I have Froy, you know, looking to see what's going on, making sure that, uh, you know, that a wire didn't come loose or something like that. So what the hell does that mean? You see? We called up uh, Swift. <clears throat> he wasn't available to do the tow at that time. So Froy suggested a call up one of his buddies that lives in that area. This is what I got. I got a, a volunteer that we got. My boom's not working, and the car that I'm supposed to be picking up, it doesn't work either. There's something wrong with the transmission. It doesn't even start. I have this friend named Bobby that has done some towing in the past. So I asked Louie, do you want me to call him? And you know, he was a little hesitant about it, but since Mondo didn't an answer, he said, okay, you know, if you trust him, just go ahead and call him. He'll be here in 15. Who set this volunteer up? I don't know, okay. but whatever it says in the All right. paperwork. All right. But it did say that the training's not working. I know. But you know what? They should have sent Frankie over here. If it's a voluntary. Frankie? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what he's working, right? He's a lot guy. I got there pretty fast, you know, which is cool. All right, I was happy about it. I think he's looking good. So um, I let Freud deal with them. What's up, bro? 
How you doing, man? Uh, good, good. I told you you're going to be on TV one of these days. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming, bro. Appreciate it. Ultimately, man, the uh, guy's good to go. Hooks it up, puts it on, let's go, man. Done deal. So they call them a voluntary. They're so easy. I just drive it to the shop like that and I'll fix it tomorrow. So what does this knucklehead do? He's, he goes to pull out. He goes to pull out of there. And the van. I tell you, the guy hooks us up. Bro. Hey! What the? You're kidding me, right? Troy. What the f happened? You're freaking kidding me. Hold it, bro. Hold it, hold it. Put it in park. You gotta be freaking kidding me, dude. You got that good, didn't you? Dude, what happened, bro? What, what's going on? Got ahead of me, bro. He's a newbie, man. He's a newbie. You guys are kidding me, right? No, Troy. no, 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 no. Troy. How do you pull up a car into a flatbed, tie it down, and then when you go to pull away, it falls off? I, I'm trying to show Lou that this is a friend of mine, and if we need him in the, in the future, we can use him. And he just, you know, Bobby basically just grabbed that little key that says, hey, you might have a future here, and just threw it right out the window. What doing? Bro, what happened? Is it all right? I don't, I don't know. It looks good to me, I mean. No harm, no foul, right? No harm, no foul? I was more disappointed. I wasn't, I was disappointed. You know, I know Freud was doing a good deed, okay? He was trying to do well, and it's not Freud's fault, brother. It is not his fault. Hey, listen. I hope this does not harm any chances of me coming back, you know, man? Bro, I want just, that ride, man. Just, I you, want that ride. You just made me look like a idiot in front of my boss. Because I told him that we can call you and I can rely on you. Bro, it looks good to me. I'm not. Bro, I'm not trying to. It just make dropped from up matter, there. But. It just dropped from up there. If anything's wrong with it, it's gonna be inside. I'm I'm surprised that Louis didn't yell or scream at me, or even at Bobby. I mean, usually Louis would just turn around and start freaking probably welling on the guy. Go ahead, you guys take off. We'll take care of it. Just no, no, no listen to me. Anyway, just listen to me. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna take care of it, man. Okay. Tomorrow. Fax us over your insurance policy. If anything's jacked up with the car, just run it to your insurance policy. Roy, just lock it up. Let's call somebody else. Just tell me to get the hell out of here, man. Thanks anyways. Bro, Bobby. trust me, bro. Bobby. Just forget about it, man. Just, just, just go, bro. Please. Now I feel bad because Bobby is my personal friend. Hey, Mondo, what's up, man? It's Lou. Hey, as soon as you get this message, call me, bro. I, I need you quick, dude. I got a, a volunteer that needs to be picked up. So just call me back, bro, it's an emergency. But it wasn't him, it was the other guy. I, yeah, I never, bro, I, I never bro, seen the other guy. You know what, guy. dude, just, uh, I'm just glad that this didn't happen on the freeway or on a major street where somebody's gonna get hurt. So it happened, it's done with, what can we do? Let's, you know, I know that we're not gonna use that knucklehead again. What can I tell you, you gave him a chance and he screwed it up. Well, I, you know what, dude, I ain't even mad. Basically, everything went wrong. Everything completely went wrong. The show's over, we're done. Jump in the van. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's cut the cameras. Let's cut the cameras, let's go. Hey, dude, get out of dude, we're done. I'm not playing, man. You're not listening to what I'm saying? I'm sorry, dude. Hell. I hate your fault, man. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm the one who told you to you know, call him. No, I was okay. trying to help you out. I don't around like that and push me like no, that. No, dude. Is that that street again, Frankie? Uh, I don't know. Frankie, look at the paperwork, please. It's right here. Is it fair, Frankie? It's he said he asked me for the address, and like I don't even think he wrote it down for me. 
Seven. Oh. I seven. Sorry. You have to work with this ignorant hillbilly son of a. You'd be like this too. I'm gonna go up and talk to the RO. Okay. Just hang okay. Tight. Okay. I am extremely unhappy with Lou for hiring this guy, and I don't know where he found him, but. Every time the guy gets in the truck with me, I swear to God, I hear dueling banjos in the background. Hi. Hey, Stacy. Hi. My name's Matt Burcham. I need gay recovery. Unfortunately, young lady, I'm here to pick up the uh, Nissan Altima. Were you expecting me? Okay. Did we get the keys to it? Okay. While he was up there, I had uh, I had the GoJack up on the tire, and was like had it uh, pumped it a few times, so we were ready to go. You know, I'll do everything I can to help you get this car back. Tell you how to get it done, the whole bit. Okay, make it as painless as possible. Okay. Hey, I got this covered, hey, Frank, man. Frank, what are you doing? I got it covered, what are you doing? man. Frank, what are you doing? So, as if I don't have enough to deal with. I come out, and this idiot is picking the lock on the wrong car. That's, no, I'm sorry. I know, you're right, you're right. I'm you're being very polite now. Is, you're absolutely right. I'm letting you take that car like is, any other crazy person. You're absolutely now you right. Now you gotta touch my no, car that's all paid for? You're right, you're right. Just you're relax. Is that what you're trying to do? No, I don't just relax. Relax. Right. Shut relax. Shut the up, You don't right. know what you're no, doing. First of all, we don't touch the other car, okay? Now, I know I may bend some rules every once in a while, but I don't outright fracture them like this guy does. I'm not playing anymore, right? You want some? Frank, not right now. Not right now. Come on, you want some? Frank. Let's go over here, Frank, dude. not right now. And he's in a fit of rage all of a sudden. I don't know what happened last night, but and this guy's not, on a, not having a good day. Frank, step back. Now. Step back, Frank. Now. Step back. Frank, come on. Joking with you, step Stay there and talk to the owner. You're this up. Stay here. I don't know what was going through his mind, but it sure the wasn't repo on the car. All I need you to do is move this, and I'll come up and pick it up, and, and we'll be out of here. Well, I, I, I want to see if there's any damage or anything. Absolutely. You, you, absolutely. Do you see anything? There better not be anything wrong with my car. I mean, okay. I'll just, just take this off. You are a stupid son of a. What are you? Do what is this? What is this? Dude, I was gonna move it. Dude, God, that's, it's all oh, oh, man! What the hell is this on my car? Do you know what a Gojek does? Do you know what a Gojek does? Man? Okay. It lifts the car so it can roll out. You gotta put it on the drivetrain of the vehicle, Frank. Oh my God, if there's any damage, okay. I Frank, swear to God. Frank, get it off. Get it off for tire right now. Paying for Frank, you know what? get it off for tire. You know what? Get it off for Get it off for tire. That's what you can do. You know, I'm trying to help him out as best as possible. And he's ruining it. Yes, ma'am, I don't blame him. And so now the lady's yelling at me. Maybe you think you can take that car, but you can't touch this car. Take it off now. Get it off okay. now. Yeah, Frank, here. What the hell have you done here now? I don't now? even know what the hell you're doing. You can't even uh, operate that freaking machine. What the hell have you done, Frank? First off, she doesn't have any idea of who I am. I just know that she didn't pay her payments. And we wouldn't even been here. And he's yelling. I don't know who the f you about this, get this job, okay? But you're not working with me anymore. You understand me? Look at me when I talk to you, okay? What we're gonna do is move that car out of the way, and uh -huh. we're gonna hook the car up, right? Right. No more bull to you. Okay. Not one more word out of your mouth. You understand me? Not one more word. I'm not around, Frank. You really pissed me off right now, okay? Not one more word. Trying to help out, dude. Yeah, but you're Just trying up. to help but you're out. everything up, so stay there and shut your mouth. Okay. Does it justify the way I treat him? What do you think? This guy is a complete freaking clown. Are you okay? Are you yeah, are you calm? Okay. I don't blame you for being pissed off. And I, I truly, I'm just, I'm just telling you. I apologize from the, on behalf of J Recovery, and we'll do whatever it can to make it better. Okay. 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 He could have gotten me in a lot of trouble uh, legally. Got himself in a lot of trouble. This wouldn't have happened if you Frankie, changed. Don't your... talk to her. Don't tell me what to do. Frankie, don't talk to her. Okay. Just get the car and up, Frankie. He stretched my patience, and I know you don't think I have a lot of patience. And you know what? You're right. I don't. If you ever pull stuff like that on me again, we're going to have big trouble. Do you understand me? Don't you ever 
play a game like that when you're working with me. I don't care what you do when you're with anybody else. Dude, that's what bull. Bull. No, I was okay. trying to help you out. Don't f around like that and push me like no, that. No, dude. truck and just shut his dumb country mouth we would have got in and out of there without any problems whatsoever i'd have got that girl's number and i'd have been a happy camper you're crazy huh yo dude what are you doing yo dude huh great ride with me no more you yo get in can i have a ride lock back can i have a ride you know what? I'm sorry, man. But, uh, I mean, Come on, dude. Just for the crew. I'm sorry. I mean, Juan Carlos, let's go. Let's go, Juan Carlos. Hi. Right. Sorry, man. Oh, you sorry. guys are great. Junior, sorry. Well, uh, whatever. Have a nice life. Come on, man. Come on. Are you joking? Oh, 